This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes. And explosive pass plays versus every defense in the game. So if you want to see what offense I'm using, get results like this. What? Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be using the Cincinnati Bengals as this is another team that I got a lot of requests for me to use in the comments section. And I only really have one more team to go in the Raiders. So if you guys want to see me use your favorite team in an upcoming video, let me know in the comments section once again and they might be next. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see Woo! more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. The offense I'm using once again today is the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the defense is going to be my multi-D defensive ebook. I'm going to show you two different videos against the same opponent, though, and in the first gameplay, I was using my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. The reason I'm going to show you two different gameplays is because I got the rare opportunity to play a guy again that beat me the first time. To be fair, the first time he caught me by surprise by basically doing a bunch of cheesy, try-hard shit that everybody hates to play against online. Small things like running meta defenses all game, like switching from the 3-3-5 to the 3-3 Cub, ag catching over and over with the six foot five Mike Evans, which is almost impossible to stop, or bigger annoying things like running the clock down to zero pretty much all game. What a pussy! I get it, you want to win, but I don't want to always go into every game playing like a tryhard. It's regs head to head, not a tournament. Even with all this, the game was still pretty close as I ended up losing by a touchdown when I couldn't stop his run game to get him off the field. I used the Chiefs defense in the first game, but I felt like if I had a better run formation like the 3-3 Cub or my 3-4 Odd defense that I would have been able to stop him. So after that loss, I decided to switch playbooks as I really only lose the 4-3 even formation. When I got my next opponent, I saw it was the Bucks again. I thought, what are the chances it's the exact same guy? And sure enough, it was. Surprise, motherfucker. And now I was between two different thoughts. One, it's payback time, since now I know how this guy likes to play. And two, what if he's just better than me? Because I really couldn't stop his run game at all the first game. The offense this video is about is once again my single back wing stack. I've made a few videos about this offense, but I still haven't shown all the one play touchdowns yet. So I'm going to keep making videos about this offense until I do. I have a new setup for my audible plays as there are five pass plays that I like to use to have access so that I have multiple one play touchdowns against every defense of the game. So my new setup is a combination of any of these five plays. The smash drive, which is my dink and dunk play as it really can't be stopped by any defense. The PA fork, which is a one play touchdown against just about every defense. The fade out, which is strictly a cover three one play touchdown the pa power o which beats any man coverage and the pa steal a shot which basically beats any man or zone this leaves me with no run plays in my audibles but that's fine as i can always just change formation for run plays i do this on the first play just to see what defense he's in as he does a very good job of hiding his coverages with adjustments but i can still read it most of the time as on the next play he switches to a cover one man and uses the safety down the box over the middle i have two man beating plays but since he is using over the middle i'm going to go with the pa steal a shot since it wins to the outside. I just highlighted this route here along with several other plays from this offense in my latest glitch routes video. So if you guys want to see more from this offense, I will have a link in the description as well as an orange screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. All you have to do to get this play to work is put the X route on a streak and the B route will get open around any man coverage as we get a big play. I read zone the next play so I switch to the smash as all you need to do is run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field and put the X route on a streak. And once again, it will pull back the zone coverages to get the corner route wide open. And it would have worked too if the receivers didn't run into each other and that is the only incomplete pass you will see from me all game he gets me into a third and ten but i get the first on a short crossing route and get inside the five before punching in on the ground to take the early lead on defense, I chose this playbook to run the exact same meta defense he did, as my plan is to play the exact same way. Ag catching, running clock, all of it. So I set my safeties at linebacker to 3-3, and I set my audible plays in the 3-3 cub, and now I'm switching over every play. It doesn't work too well in the first couple of plays that I don't usually run this defense, as he gets a big run, hurries me up, and follows up with a big pass play, before hurrying me up again. And luckily, this time, I get him to throw it out of bounds on the next play, as I didn't even have time to set up my coaching adjustments yet. The coaching adjustments I use are zone coverage to match, Curl flats to 15, zone flats to 5, cornerback matchups to overall, and play ball for ball in the air defense. He's still
still ran a lot in this second game, but he was running completely different run plays this time with a lot of counter runs before ag catching with Evans again, and I couldn't have played that ball much better. Oh, you mother... Back on offense, anytime I rezone and I'm on a hash mark, I'm going to take these easy yards from the smash play. And even though there's the entire second quarter to play, I'm already running clock. Why? Because fuck him, that's why. Since that's exactly what he did in the first game. He clearly sees what I'm doing, so he starts packing the box. So on the next play, I read that he's in cover one again, playing low in the box with the safety, and I switch to the PA power O play that I scored against him with in the first game. And he must have remembered that because he immediately drops back on it, but the short crosser still beats man coverage as well as we get another first down. I run the ball a little more to kill time before I see that he is in cover four. So I switch to the smash play once again. I could score from here, but I take the drag to get closer as I'm trying to kill clock as much as possible before punching it on the ground to take the lead with 28 seconds left. I decide to play prevent style cover to man defense with the middle safety and it looks like it's working. Nope. But somehow despite me playing off and playing back, the cornerback and safety still let Mike Evans just run right past them. What the hell is going on? He gets the ball in the second half and the score and the situation are exactly the same as the first game. We get him to a quick third and long to start the half before he almost gets the first back to the running back out of the backfield before picking it up on a zig route in the next play. But this is the first time I got into a fourth down in over six quarters of play. Out of desperation, I call whatever the hell this defense is. You are trash! And try to give him a new look, but this defense is complete trash. Understatement. Before he hits me with the same counter run while I was setting up my defense. Damn it! To make the score the exact same it was when the last game ended. Hello darkness, my old friend. I start the next drive out taking the check down to the running back for a quick first down before getting instantly sacked on the next play to knock me back. So I go back to the PA power O and he wants to cut off that shorter route, but he knows if he does, I'm scoring on the deeper one. So we get the first down right back on the next play. So since he is watching that route, I decide to go back to the PA Steelers shot since he can't cover the outside as well from the safety position in the middle. And we get another huge play to get inside the five. Now that I am here, I am only going to run the ball as I get down to the one on the next play before switching over to the goal line package and getting stuffed on both the quarterback sneak and the fullback dive Dang. so this guy clearly has a goal line defense so on fourth down and the game on the line i decide to come out in an empty backfield look in the hope that it tricks him into a light box on defense and it worked perfectly psych as we run it with a draw with joe burrow right up the middle to tie the game now with 4.15 left in the fourth quarter, this guy clearly plans to kill clock to kick a field goal as he doesn't even try to get a return, taking a knee at the 15. So there's no way around it. I have to get a stop. He comes down the same iPhone package that he liked to run from in the last game, so I don't mess around and run commit on the first play, and he still gets six yards. I see he is already running clock, so I commit again, and this time we knock him back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. He switches formations, so I switch to cover three, and we almost get a pick as this dude ain't shit without Mike Evans. And now with the game on the line, I decide to put some heat on him with the Mike Zero Blitz, send the house, and he doesn't even have enough time to get the throw away. As we finally get a stop that took almost two full games to get. The game's not over yet though as I still have to score. I decide to run the ball even though I know he's looking for that. But we have to play the clock game. I don't get much in the first two runs but I get to the two minute warning before getting stuffed on third down to bring up a critical fourth and three that could decide the game. I go back to the smash play since I'm already on a hash mark and this is my hardest play to stop as I'm confident that just about every route here will get open. I put my running back on a curl to hold the user middle linebacker over the middle and it works perfectly as my backup tight end gets in for the touchdown. He still has a lot of time left though as we saw him score early with only 28 seconds before half. Nope. But my defense is stepping up now. He catches me while I'm still setting up my defense on the next play though as he completes a big pass play to get closer before going back to his safety blanket and Mike Evans one more time. And fuck this guy! To get inside the red zone and also light up his X Factor. Which if you don't know is double me which pretty much guarantees he'll catch everything. So I put my safety on a curl route to help out and Cameron Taylor Britt snuffs his light out. Trail I bitch in here! I do it again on the next play to double Mike Evans, so he goes to Godwin instead. Gotcha, bitch! And look what happens when he's not throwing it up to Yao Ming. As we get the interception to end the game and get revenge, and you know we gotta salt this one in a little. All I'm saying is if you wanna play like a tryhard, just give me fair warning so I can too. We shouldn't all have to play every game like this just to get a win, but it obviously works. So that's, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. And if you wanna see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in this video, I will have links of them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.